Welcome to this edition of Backstage Pass with Leah Chang. On this edition of Backstage Pass with Leah Chang, I'm bidding farewell to the Year of the Tiger and embracing my year, the Year of the Water Rabbit, by sharing my epic evening at Prospect Theatre Company's gala at the Edison Ballroom, at which I was honored with the 2022 Prospect Muse Award alongside Naima Krajan, Leonard Maslin, and Kanita Miller. I've been a fan of Prospect Theatre Company's work for years as they are the only institution dedicated to developing and fully producing new musicals created by diverse emerging artists of all backgrounds and identities. I dedicate this award to my mother, Bev Umahara, a union labor activist and the San Francisco chapter president of the Asian Pacific American Labor Alliance, APALA who impressed upon me the importance of a life of public service, and to my father, Russell Chang, an amateur photographer who was my documentarian since birth. The Dramatics Regional premiered this past fall at the Utah Shakespeare Festival after being featured in Utah's Spike 150 celebration and in Prospect's Ignite Series concert series, co-produced with the National Asian Artist Project. Yeah. Gold Mountain is a love story set against the backdrop of a pivotal event in America's history, the construction of the first transcontinental railroad. It is 1866 in the Sierra Nevada. Thousands of Chinese men are building the railroad. Then, one woman arrives and changes the lives of all she touches. In this next song, amidst hardship and homesickness, we see two Chinese immigrants find escape in their deepening friendship. Here to perform are the two phenomenal artists who originated these roles and have brought their stunning voices to this powerful story. Please welcome the incredible talents of Johnny Lee Jr. and Broadway's one and only, Ali Ewell. <laughs> Yeah. 
to release our imagination. Because if we cannot first imagine it, we cannot then manifest it. Having said that, please take a brief trip with me into the 20th century. I was working with a playwright whose name is Lonnie Carter. You may know him as the writer of the production for the Mighty Company, The Romance of Magno Rubio. I was working with him on a project based on the two campaigns of Jesse Jackson for President of the United States of America. It was called Gulliver. The conceit was that as Jesse Jackson had to convince the different demographics of the United States to vote for him, he would have to travel to different exotic lands, as happens in Gulliver's travels. When we get to the land of the Lilliputians, the idea was to represent them through the magic of puppetry. And we had cast every character in the play except for the princess of the glabrous people. Now the few of you, few of you who may not know what glabrous means, it means the absence of body hair. So this particular demographic that Gulliver has to win over, win their votes, were known for not having hair on their bodies. We needed a princess, a glamorous princess. That very afternoon, I was on my way to the Schomburg Library to witness a performance by Guy Davis, the son of Ruby D and Ossie Davis. I walked into the lobby of the theater and there, standing before me, her back to the world, was this monument to serenity and beauty. And I thought, this is the manifestation of our muse for the princess. I approached her. Long story short, she said, yes. <laughs> and from that day in 1993, Leah Chang has been the princess in my life. We know her as an actor, but when she picks up that camera, <laughs> she becomes an activist. I am humbled and thrilled that I have been a subject of those lens many times. And it gives me great pleasure to say tonight, I can finally confess, Princess Leah Chang, you are forever my news. Oh. Would you help me, sir? Would you hand me that chair?
please allow me. Hello? Please allow me. Just make sure the mic is on. Please allow me to sing this song from all of us to Princess Leah Chen. How much They're fainting already. <laughs> How much do we love you? I'll tell you no lie. How deep is the ocean? How high is the sky? How many times in a day do I think? I sprinkle with dew. How far would we travel just to be where you? Yeah. 
Uh, I've been very fortunate that you have set the stage for me to document. Um, the one other thing that I wanted to say was uh, that fortunately, my work is now in the Library of Congress. My colleagues and contemporaries are now in the, world, uh, the Library of Congress and also in the New York Public Library for the Performing Arts, the Billy Rose Theater Division. So we do not have any issues. <laughs> words with you. Hit, hit, inhale. Buga, exhale. E hip, blow. Hinga, breathe. Good. Let's try that again. Hit, hit. Buga, e hip, hinga. Once more. Hit, hit. Buga.
Lizard boy, run! Lizard boy, fly! Lizard boy, do what you can to get by! Thank you for joining me for this edition of Backstage Pass with Leah Chang. Until next time.